You might have thought taking photos of the night sky would be difficult, but thanks to advances in technology, it's never been easier to capture images of the stars. Taking pictures of space is really good fun, and the great thing is you don't need lots of expensive kit, just a basic digital camera. You don't even need to go out into the countryside. In fact, you can get some fantastic results from the comfort of your own back garden. There's one important consideration when photographing the night sky, and that's that the stars are faint. So you need a camera that's capable of taking long exposures, and you need something to keep it still. So I've got a DSLR camera, I've got a tripod, and a piece of card. Now we need to do four simple things to get the camera set up to take the picture. We need to set it to the manual mode. We then need to set the aperture so the aperture is nice and wide. We need to set the exposure to about 30 seconds. And then finally, set the ISO setting to about 800. And once that's done, the camera is ready to take a photograph. But unfortunately, it's cloudy here tonight, so I'll just have to show you how you take the pictures and let you go off and try it yourselves. Now, you've got to find the constellation that you want to take the photograph of. So we get the camera lined up first. So we put the card in front of the camera to make sure any vibrations that you give on the camera through taking the picture and touching the camera are not seen, and then push the shutter and then take the card away for 30 seconds, and it's as simple as that. You've been sending us in fantastic images using the DSLR camera technique. This gorgeous image of the Hale-Bopp comet taken by Jamie Cooper includes a tree line to give a sense of scale. And this stunning photo of the Northern Lights in Scotland by Stuart Watts is a great example of how long exposure can capture constellations. Once you've taken some photographs of constellations, the next thing you might want to try is taking pictures of planets through a telescope. Now, some surprisingly impressive results can be had by using a simple compact camera, placing it against the eyepiece of a telescope, take a picture, you can get some amazing images. I love this wonderful photo by Andrew Richens, taken with a compact camera held to a telescope. You can see the moon in the foreground and Saturn and its rings in the distance. Here's an amazing shot of the moon taken using the same method. You can almost feel its surface texture. And if you go a step further and connect your DSLR camera to your telescope using an adapter, you can open up a world of unbelievable beauty. These images were taken by amateur astronomer Dave Moulton. This is the great nebula in the constellation of Orion. This photo has captured not only the unusual jellyfish nebula, but also its neighbouring star, Eta. And this is our nearest galactic neighbour, the majestic Andromeda Galaxy. An even better way of taking images of planets is to use a webcam. Now, you need a special type of webcam, and I've got one here that you can unscrew the lens. Then I replace it with a special adapter, which you can buy from astronomical suppliers, and make sure the object is still in the centre of the eyepiece of the telescope. Take out the eyepiece, pop the webcam in its place, and then very simply, with the capture software, we take a 20 or 30 second video. I filmed this image of Saturn a few nights ago. Back inside in the warm now, we need to take that video that we took off the webcam and load it onto the computer and turn it into a picture. So if we search for composite imaging on the internet, we can find a piece of free software which will allow us to load that video into the computer. And then we simply use the automatic function of align and stack, and that basically takes all the individual frames and overlaps them perfectly and effectively cancels out the turbulent effects of the atmosphere. And there it is, our final picture of the planet Saturn. So with a bit of practice, you can create some spectacular webcam stills. And as you can see from these inspirational images, all photographed by amateurs, with a little effort, the wonders of the night sky can be yours for the taking.